Now, Visa and Swift have announced a collaboration to streamline international business-to-business -business payments by strengthening connectivity between their networks that would move trillions in value globally. That's right, and the organizations will work together with the aim of providing financial institutions and their customers with more choice when sending money across borders, while improving the end-to-end -end speed and transparency of those transactions. Earlier this week, I spoke to Chris Newkirk, Global Head of New Flows, Commercial and Money Movement Solutions at Visa, and Thierry Colosi, a Chief Strategy Officer at Swift. And I began by asking Chris about the announcement of a new collaboration to address the complexities that many businesses continue to face. I'm incredibly excited about the announcement we've made about a collaboration that brings together two truly world-class brands and a set of capabilities ultimately that will allow uh, us to collectively improve cross-border flows, make them more transparent, more certain, uh, more data rich, and I think it's a terrific collaboration, very much in keeping with our network of network strategy, uh, where we want to, uh, of course, support our clients through our Visa network, but equally partner with other networks to make sure that we can deliver exceptional client experiences. Staying with you a, a, a second, what does the current state of cross-border payments look like today? I think we, we're, on the, we're in the early days of really a complete revolution, you know, brought on by digital capabilities that will completely change how cross-border payments work. Uh, we're in the early days of that, and so I guess I would think about it um, in a couple of ways, Johnny. Uh, on, on the commercial side, I would say that there are pockets of, what I would describe as pockets of excellence, where uh, those flows are fast and transparent and low cost, et cetera. But on average, and for the long tail of participants in cross-border payments, you know, today I would say they're too slow, opaque, sometimes expensive, uh, and I think we'll see quite dramatic change over the next few years on the commercial side, equally on the consumer side, I would say a little bit more advanced in that revolution, um, but still on average slower and more expensive. And so at Visa, we're really keen to make those flows faster, more transparent, secure, reliable. And we'll do that through building some capabilities like our B2B Connect capability solution that we've built, which is really at the core of this partnership that we've announced. Uh, so that's a build example. We will buy capabilities when we think that'll bring uh, better solutions to our clients, such as uh, Currency Cloud, which is an acquisition we did in the last year to bring better FX solutions to Visa clients. And we'll partner. And this is, I think, a terrific example of finding the right partnerships that can make our services work better for our clients and their, for their clients. So, Thierry, let's talk about this partnership, uh, shall we? Tell me what these two leading brands are bringing to this collaboration. Yes, we're quite excited about this collaboration. Um, I'll start with, I think Chris mentioned a few things that, that the Visa ecosystem does well and wants to solve for. Um, just, just this year, we celebrated 50 years, and, and the world has moved on since, since 15 years of SWIFT, where SWIFT is really facilitating the secure movement of money globally. Today, you have 89% of transactions that, that arrive at the, at the final beneficiary banks within one hour and half of those within five minutes. Now, as Chris said, the, the bar is raising. I mean, we, we need to be able to really, if you look at what the G20 is doing behind our goal, improve speed, cost, access, transparency, uh, that's what motivates us. So how do we use this, this network of banks that have invested a lot in really structured data? So in the past five years, what, what we think we, we bring to this collaboration is these new capabilities that, that we've developed together with the banks, such as being able to track a payment end-to-end, -end, bringing cloud technologies on it, pre-validating a payment before it's even sent. Mm -hmm. And these are all agnostic of who you, where the money is going to end up. And when you look at the two institutions, the, the overlap that we have into, into our members' ecosystem, I mean, th this is what makes it even more, you know, it's natural to understand that it's going to be an inclusive world tomorrow. Mm. So that's what we bring, and, and we're welcoming Visa reusing the same capability, reusing the same standards of data that allow us to have full transparency on a payments end-to-end, -end, 
we think that there's a combi combining the reuse and the new innovation is the way to go. Mm. So we really welcome that in an inclusive manner in the ecosystem. What is this? Uh, that, that, j just okay. to complement Johnny, that in, in essence for the, the member banks is providing payments optionality. Mm. What does the, uh, this collaboration mean to Visa clients, Chris? Uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's about, I mean, I love the optionality uh, framing. Uh, at the end of the day, we want to deliver the ability for our clients to deliver great experiences to their end clients. And this collaboration, I, I think, will make that so much easier for our clients. So for instance, as I say, we're, we're pursuing a network of network strategy. With B2B Connect, uh, today, we do deliver uh, near real time with transparency about the payment status, rich data, cost certainty, et cetera, about you know, the funds to be delivered. Um, what this partnership will allow us to do is to, uh, in the instances where we're originating uh, a payment on B2B Connect, but terminating and using the SWIFT network to deliver to the beneficiary bank, building on the capabilities that Terry mentioned, pre-validation, data, mm -hmm. uh, consistency, et cetera, to deliver very similar, excellent experience on data, transparency, status of the payment on those payments that originate on B2B Connect and terminate through the SWIFT network. So I think it's really about delivering better end user experiences for our clients' clients, and mm -hmm. I'm excited about uh, the use cases they'll bring to bear. Thierry, you talk about this in terms of providing uh, network optionality. Uh, what does this mean for the broader SWIFT community? Yes, so uh, I'll start with saying when, when I started to look at payments, everything was really clean, right? You, you had card payments that were working this way, you had ACH payments, so, so these account-to-account -account payments. And today you see a multiplication of payment options. And all of those are trying to solve a, a common problem. How do you make it better for the end customer? Mm -hmm. Whether that end customer is, is an individual, whether it is a, a, an organization, a company, or even an, a financial institution. So th the concept of payment optionality is instead of trying to develop everything in a closed ecosystem, right? Where, whereby essentially you need to have a connectivity to different types of ecosystem. That's very costly for, for a whole community. So what we're trying to do by bringing this payment optionality is essentially reusing what I said before, you know, this common structure, this, this investment that this industry has done into checking for compliance in a certain way, making sure the right data is there, not fragmenting that. Because the, the world of tomorrow is gonna be, and the world of today is already a multi-networked world. So I'm not gonna steal Chris's, uh, so uh, if, if you were a statement on network of network, but payment optionality is, is you take it from the lens of the end client. They're gonna need to have different needs depending on what they wanna do. And essentially what the financial institutions are doing, have been doing very well, is offer that optionality to their end clients. So they don't have to go in many different places to try to get uh, the best possible service. They can, get, they can go to the, the financial institution of trust and then initiate or, or interact with them in that way. That, that's what I mean by that. And, and so at SWIFT, we're very much powered by this inclusivity. Mm. And I think uh, what, what, is, what is happening these days is you see a lot more collaboration because simply it's not sustainable that every party tries to work completely in isolation. Absolutely. Well, we do run in a theme this year of, of collaboration in this uh, fragmented world here, certainly in the right place uh, to build towards uh, well, to, to, away from that, I guess. Uh, gentlemen, uh, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you so much for giving your time here on Cybers TV. I hope you do enjoy the rest of the week here in this beautiful city of Toronto. That's Chris Newkirk, Global Head of New Flows Commercial and Money Movement Solutions at Visa, and Thierry Kilosi, uh, Chief Strategy Officer at SWIFT. Thank you both. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny.